Ah, all right. Dope, dope. So, Nocturne video is almost done, and we got an Xbox showcase. All right. Let's see what we were doing today. Two hours later. Holy sh! Well, I'll be damned. We're actually getting a mainline Persona game that is finally on a console other than the PlayStation, and it ended up on the good old Xbox. Huh? Just in case you were living under a rock or was asleep until 2 in the afternoon like my black ass, during the Xbox Showcase, they announced that Persona 3 Portable, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 5 Royal was coming to Xbox and Windows. And originally, this announcement made me fucking confuzzled at first, because these games were coming onto these platforms? What? But yeah, my god though, did Twitter erupt in excitement for this game, including, you know, yours truly. But honestly though, this reaction is extremely warranted, as many people, and I mean many people, have been asking Atlas to port these games to different consoles for a while now. Now, as to why we're getting this on the Xbox and not the Switch, well, who knows and who fucking cares because we're getting this game on different platforms, baby. Yes! Anyway, though, I do want to share my opinions and thoughts about the Persona announcements. And, you know, I have a lot of really great things to say about it. And a few negative things, initially. This is going to be a very interesting video. The fact that Persona 3, 4, and 5 were announced to be coming to Xbox and Windows still feels like a fever dream. Especially Persona 5, because this fucking game has been something I've been wanting to play for years now. But I never could because your boy didn't have money, nor a good enough PC slash laptop to be able to emulate PS3 games. It was a rough couple years, to say the least. But the fact that Persona 5 isn't bound to the PS4 anymore means more people can actually play this game without having to drop the bag for a PS4 or a PS5. However, with that, uh, I do have some concerns. The biggest one being that I believe that it was a missed opportunity to get Persona 3 and 5 on Steam. Because at the time of this recording, these games were more likely going to be available via the Windows Store. Which, you know, is fine since Golden will be on there as well, but why not just bring them to Steam? Persona 4 Golden was on Steam, so I feel as if it could have been done and made a lot more sense, you know? And... The fuck? Yep, yeah, what's up? Did uh, this is the comment on the Steam? Okay, thanks for telling me that. And there goes half my fucking script. God damn it. So one of the things that actually surprised me was that we were getting Persona 3 Portable over FES. Now, I've seen people complain about it on Twitter, and originally I was going to complain about it too. Um, until I realized that FES was the version of the game that did not let you control your party members, and Portable does allow you to control your party members. So, you know, uh, Atlas porting Portable it makes a lot more sense. Plus, they also got some translators working on this port and also the Persona 4 port to improve the translation. So, you know, here's to hopefully getting that Ken Social Link fix to be less creepy. Hey, yo, what the fuck? And speaking of Golden, I'm not concerned about that port because I do figure they're going to be using the Steam port as reference when porting it to the Xbox. Now, something that interests me recently was that these games were going to be remasters, which left me wondering on what scale were these remasters going to be. Are they going to go big and retweak everything and make the visuals nicer? Or are they just going to make the visuals nicer and, you know, call it a day? And, you know, considering that it's Atlas, uh... Yeah, I'm not even sure myself. Okay, but let's ask the big question here. What will all of this lead to? And in my personal opinion, if these ports do really well, then we may be seeing Persona release on multiple platforms instead of just PlayStation. For those who may be new to the Persona series, the mainline Persona games have mainly been on PlayStation for like 25 years now, with Sony holding this franchise in the absolute chokehold. Now being free, if these ports end up selling well, then we could see Persona be released on more platforms at launch. Hell, we may actually get them on Switch if they do well enough. No, you little shit. Oh, fuck, I just remember something, huh? <sighs> Real quick before I'm done. If these ports ever, and I mean ever, come to Switch, 
please, for the love of fucking do not make him into Cloud version. You can see a clear example of that shit now working with the Kingdom Hearts games on Switch. And make sure you get this in writing too, because if they do announce that the Persona games are coming to Switch, and we end up getting cloud versions as opposed to standard digital versions, which we can play offline instead of having to be on the internet 24-7 just to play them, I swear to god I will jump out my fucking window playing Buddy Holly by Weezer. Pacific, I know, just don't ask questions. Alright, so overall, I am very excited about these ports coming out. And for those who are curious about when the dates of these bad boys are coming out, Persona 5 Royal is releasing on October 21st of this year, with Persona 3 and Persona 4 coming out in 2023. Now, one of the things I am a little sad about is that we're not getting, you know, Persona 1 or the Persona 2 remasters, or hell, even remakes. But you know what? I am perfectly fine with actually having the other ports of Persona 3, 4, and 5 so we can actually play them now. And hell, to ensure that we get more ports of Atlas games and you know have Atlas be like, hey, we should port these games more and not only to Xbox but to other platforms as well, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, buy these games or play it on Game Pass, whichever doesn't kill your wallet. But that, thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. So real quick, um, I know this is different from my usual videos and I kinda wanna you know, do more of these you know, dots and opinions on certain games that I'm interested in in the future. Um, just so I can give you guys more content out instead of just having to wait a month for fucking reviews to come out and stuff. So, you know, try to create variety and stuff. And I really wanted to, you know, share my thoughts and opinions about this game because I'm excited. I could actually finally play Persona 5 without having to emulate it on the PS3 again. So, you know, yay. But anyway, though, um, as for the Nocturne video, that video should be coming out sometime by the end of this week or sometime Monday of next week and stuff. I'm already almost done with the game. I think I should be done by like Wednesday or so, Wednesday, Thursday-ish. And I already have a script in mind and I actually just started writing at the time of this video's upload. So hopefully you guys will be able to get it soon unless uh, I get busy in the next couple days. I don't know, I, I've been very busy lately. But like always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to stay safe. Get vaccinated if possible, cause you know it's getting a little crazy out there and make sure to stay vibing. Peace. One take, yes!